Hi students, how are you? I hope you are all good and doing well in your studies. Today, you are going to learn the reason behind why we use 70% isopropyl alcohol instead of 100% isopropyl alcohol. If you work in healthcare science, you likely be familiar with isopropyl alcohol which is used as disinfectant in hospitals, clean rooms and other areas that need frequent sanitization. Many people believe that the higher the concentration of alcohol, or higher the percentage of alcohol in the disinfectant, the more effective it will be against organism. Surprisingly, this is not the case in some occasions. Firstly, let's look a deeper view how 100% IPA works. Then we look at how 70% alcohol work so that we know why 70% isopropyl alcohol is more effective than 100% isopropyl alcohol. As we know, pure isopropyl alcohol or 100% isopropyl alcohol evaporates quickly. At room temperature like other volatile liquids. When 100% isopropyl alcohol contact with the cell wall, for example, this is the cell wall of the organism. The alcohol will go through the cell wall of the organism in all directions, in all directions to coagulate protein. As in this organism, these are proteins. in the organism. So the alcohol coagulates coagulates protein. For example like this coagulates protein instantly inside the cell wall and there is a ring formation of coagulates protein would then stop the IPA from penetrates further. So as it forms a layer, so it don't penetrate isopropyl alcohol don't penetrate further from the cell wall and no more coagulates takes place. So you see there are no coagulation of these proteins. So no more coagulates take place because absolute isopropyl alcohol has high evaporation capacity and less contact time. If it evaporates quickly so less contact time at this time cell would become inactive but not dead because these proteins are not coagulate so that's why bacteria is only inactive but not dead under the favorable conditions the cell would 
again reactive and start functioning. So when we use 100% isopropyl alcohol, I don't dead the bacteria because it has high evaporation capacity and as it has less uh, greater evaporation capacity so it has low contact time so now let's take a look how 70 percent alcohol works we know 70% isopropyl alcohol contains 30% water. Water is required to denature the proteins of the cell membrane and work and act as a catalyst. Water is the crucial component to coagulate or denature the protein and act as a catalyst in 70% alcohol and it also increases the contact time it also increases the contact time within the cell wall of the organism when it contacts as for example this is the cell wall when it contacts with the cell wall when 70 percent alcohol contacts contacts with the cell wall it denatures or dissolves the cell membrane of of the cell wall because the presence of water it increases the contact time inside the cell wall of bacteria and it slowly penetrates as it increases the contact time so it slowly evaporates as for example these are proteins in the cell wall so it penetrates slowly and increases the contact time it penetrates slowly all the way to the proteins and does not allow the formation of coagulates protein layer it 70% alcohol don't form coagulates protein layer that's why it goes further and dissolves all protein and kill microorganism so it coagulates protein but not form layer of coagulate protein and dissolves all protein and kill microorganism as all protein are denatured coagulate so the bacteria or, or, the org or the organism is killed or died hence the 70% isopropyl alcohol is more effective then 100% isopropyl alcohol because 70% isopropyl alcohol takes more time to evaporate and water act as catalyst of reaction to kill the germs. So now you know the reason behind why 70% isopropyl alcohol is more effective than 100% isopropyl alcohol if you, we use 100% isopropyl alcohol it doesn't kill the microorganism but on the other hand if we use 70% isopropyl alcohol it kills the microorganism 
So next time you see both in the drug store, choose 70% isopropyl alcohol. I hope this lecture is helpful for you. If you want these slides, you can get a link in the description box. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share this lecture. Thank you.